Jeff Fry is the Forrest Gump of Escondido. He was looking for something to do and just started pedaling. This is my departure from the Oceanside Pier. In 2018, Jeff Fry set out on one long truck ride. Started out as a bucket list item. A general contractor for 40 years. Nerve damage in Jeff's legs forced him to retire on disability. I have um, idiopathic peripheral neuropathy. It's robbed me of all the fine motor skills in my lower legs. For Jeff, cycling works better than walking. They're kind of just living prosthetics. <laughs> So he pointed his trike east and started pedaling. That sun coming up in uh, Anza Borrego. Then it was off to Arizona and New Mexico. And land of enchantment, and it is, it's a beautiful land. Where else could you find Pie Town? We had to stop for some pie. That's on, <laughs> the, that's on the Continental Divide. So you weren't in a rush? No. How could he be with a heavy headwind? Brutal. How windy was it? Oh, uh, it was terrible. I mean, I have pictures of flags just standing straight out trying to bend the flagpole over. Next came Oklahoma, then Texas. I'm on Route 66 now. This is coming into Springfield, Missouri. Then came the hills of Kentucky and Tennessee. <laughs> Equipped with a horn and two mascots. That's lucky. I found him on Interstate 10. This guy here is uh, Point Man Pete. Jeff traveled. 3,250 miles in 64 days. There's the end. It's King Neptune in Virginia Beach. A few months ago, Jeff released a book about his journey. El Camino de la Fe means the way of faith. The subtitle is an American pilgrimage overcoming doubt and fear. Were you filled with fear and doubt? Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know I'd make it out of Escondido. Jeff didn't know it at the time, but he now feels the purpose of the trip was to grow closer to God. The ride became a pilgrimage. A man with two bad legs. Yeah, I have some bigger braces I'm supposed to wear. Found himself on a spiritual walk. Sounds cliche to say, yeah, I was searching for God, but that's what I was doing. And he revealed himself in a very fantastic way. But this is sweet. In the Zevely zone. It was an adventure. I loved it. Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.